So my name is Victoria Batiste, I am 15 years old, and I love to do singing, acting, and dancing. I started dancing, and I took dance lessons, and now I'm on a professional dance ensemble. Dancing, it's very calming and soothing and I can just move my body however I want. When I'm dancing, I feel like I'm meditating because I can loosen my body and I have to take deep breaths and it's very um, good for my inner soul because it's very, it's very warming and I just feel very happy. It actually, it makes me feel like I don't have medical issues because I can actually do things that a lot of people wouldn't think I can do with my catheter. Yeah, it's very escaping from medical issues. In 2010, Victoria and Eve were diagnosed with FSGS. It's a chronic kidney disease um, that was discovered through Eve's doctor's appointment. It's just been very weird because I've, I have to change my diet and I have to take a bunch of medicine, and yeah. so it's kind of different. So yeah, these are all my medicines that I fill my box with. There really is no cure for FSGS. It's just you know a matter of trying to um, slow down the scarring process and reduce the inflammation. I take medicine um, daily uh, because if I don't, then the kidney is just going to really stop working. After she started puberty at about 11, 12 years old, um, the, her body stopped developing and the kidney function got worse. So at 14, you know, her kidney function dropped from like half to about 15%. And at about 15%, that's when you start talking dialysis. And it was a big shock for us and we weren't ready and it was just, just so upsetting that she had to do it this soon. Over here, I will go to bed. This is my dialysis machine. I got my catheter this past summer, and um, so I've only been on dialysis for like two months. I've had my catheter for three months. Um, every time I set up or connect, I have to wear a mask, or anybody in the room has to wear a mask. Um, the door has to be shut for 30 minutes prior setup or um, cleaning or um, or connection. It's kind of different, but I mean, as long as I'm getting better and everything is leading up to transplant, which will soon be good. <laughs> So I have to connect to dialysis every night for 10 hours. I connect at around 8 o'clock and disconnect at around um, 6. Depends on the school day. For setup, I have to wash my hands before setup for about for a minute. And then I take my vitals and that determines which bags I use. Um, and I have to make sure my mask is on. So then I input it into my machine and then um, I connect the tubing to the solution bags and primes, and then I connect to my machine and I'm done. And then the next morning I disconnect. It's been pretty easy and it's, I mean, it's not that hard. People think it's really hard, but it really isn't, so yeah. My mom 
she wanted to donate her kidney, but um, she wasn't able to. After all the testing and everything, they realized that she wasn't able to. I've got a ton of friends and family who want to know how I'm doing and, and how the girls are doing. And so I just made a short video explaining, you know, what, what the status was on the girls and um, posted it. I wanted to talk to you about my uh, two beautiful daughters, Victoria and Eve Batiste. Both of my daughters will need kidney transplants. So Rosa posted a video. They were looking for testing for the donation. So I applied for phase one, and then it just went from there. I didn't know her that well. Yeah, no, she she just, she, she according to Gina, she just had this, this mother, motherly instinct to, to be available to a child that wasn't hers. <laughs> My perspective is I'm a mom, so I was like, I have to do that, that makes sense. So it just kind of like felt like the right thing to do, but also like, I, f I feel like I'm a pretty good person, like I want to do it. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah, I just think um, this, is the, this is a true hero. This is a true hero. This, this lady is um, saying yes until we need her. So that's what a hero is. I mean, I've, ne I've never seen anything like it. I remember being her age and she's basically like tethered to a dialysis machine every night. I can't imagine her not being able to do stuff that she should do at her age. Like she can't really go sleep over a friend's house. She can't. I mean, she dances and stuff, but you can't do everything that you should be doing. And like, she's such a good kid, and like, she just deserves like her lease on life at this point. And so I feel really good about it. So uh, my friend read this article on kidney transplants. She said the kidney that was donated, um, the the person who's getting the kidney transplant tends to. Um, like like foods that the donor so likes. Weird. So like if you like shrimp then I'll start liking shrimp. That's so weird. So I want to know what kind of foods you like. I like spicy food. <laughs> Good because I like spicy food. And I like I have like a horrible sweet tooth so like we like literally had I had a milkshake today and a cupcake and then he wanted to get more ice cream and I was almost like yeah let's get more ice cream so <laughs> so you might notice that. Okay. Yeah. They were telling us today that um, she'll have to stay here for how two long? weeks. Two weeks. Can't go home. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm getting my transplant June second. I should be out of the hospital um, that next Thursday, so I'll be in the hospital for about a week. I've never had surgery. I've never been under anesthesia. I'm not nervous about the actual like procedure, or, like what I'm doing. It's just that because I don't know anything about it. That kind of makes me a little bit on edge, but otherwise I'm, I'm pretty much excited about it, which is a little weird, but. <laughs> I'm excited and I'm nervous. I'm actually very excited so that everything is just done and over with and I can be off of dialysis Yay. and I can just, I can go places and not have to worry about coming home on time to connect. And I'm excited, but I'm also scared because I hope nothing goes wrong and yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful, beautiful. So exciting. I would recommend anybody that wants to donate to somebody close to them that they should definitely do it because I think it's a really good experience. If you want to, if you feel like you want to and you're nervous, like I, I just think you should go for it because the end result is going to be amazing. What I really want to be when I grow up is an FBI agent and my favorite show is Law and Order. I think Eve has pretty good kidney function left, so she's, I think she has a little longer until she has to start dialysis, um, and if she keeps on taking her medicines, then she can last, her kidneys can last until she's like 16 to 18, um, and I think by that time, they're going to have an artificial kidney made, so hopefully she can get that. I um I made these in my art class last year. Knowing I was going through the surgery and stuff, she gave it to me and then she made her own. The story one told about me is the girl who was able to get through dialysis and a kidney transplant with a positive attitude and I learned how to prioritize, and I've met tons of people that I, I love now, and that I, I was able to get through it, and I survived it, so, yeah. <laughs> And cut.